let's jump into the second demo. As, as I have mentioned already, the second demo is about testing web applications, but actually the, my goal with that was not only to show how to do web UI testing, but also how to solve some complex testing scenarios with deployment steps. You will just see in a, in a second. So to show that, I don't know if you know that, but the bookshop has this special feature that the search steps are actually also implemented through browser automation. So if I just mark the feature with the web attribute uh, or web tag, then, then this will be executed with, uh, with browser automation, with UI automation. So I would like to show you the, the web uh, uh, execution experience through that. So uh, let's say that my situation is that, that really the, the testing Set, test setup is quite complex. I have to do multiple, usually if I have to do multiple steps to be able to execute my steps, my, my web tests. For example, I have to run my development web server to be able to execute these tests, which I always forget usually. And right now I on purpose didn't even start it that. So my, my, my web server is not running yet. To show you this example, I'm just creating a, another profile. Let's call this web. This will be, and let's let's make a filter for the web test, so we are all more interested in uh, the tests uh, that are tagged with the web. Let's try to run that. So as I have mentioned, I don't have the my uh, web server running. So actually, we should see some some failure. I wanted to show you this failure because this is also quite typical, at least uh, what I, what we have experienced that you are immediately after the first uh, first test failing you you realize that actually some dependency is not set up properly so you know that all the tests will fail and actually what you want to do you want to stop that uh, as quick as possible but but somehow not leaving too much mess around so closing all the browser windows and so on and to support that this uh, console runner uh, in the console runner you can you can press Control C, and Control C is a kind of uh, nice cancelling, so it will not uh, abort the process as it is, but it will wait until the next test test is somehow finishing, and it and it uh, stops the execution afterwards. There is also a similar feature uh, that you can configure in the in the profile: this stop us after failures. This is for the same purpose. So, if you know that I have at least three failures, then probably all of them will fail, and let's rather stop the execution in general. Okay, but I don't want to run my, my web server manually right now, but instead of that I would like to configure it in this profile uh, to, to set everything which is necessary for the execution for me. And actually for that we have a, there, there is a deployment step, deployment transformation steps uh, section in the profile where you can list different uh, deployment steps. And one of these deployment steps is the IS Express step that is actually starting up an IS Express instance. The configuration of this IS Express step is not too complicated. I just copied it from my cheat sheet to, to be in some time. You have to specify the, the, the folder of the web application, which is in our case the bookshop. You have to specify the port that it should listen to, and you have to also specify where the IS Express itself is, is sitting. So after having that, if I run the same scenario and everything goes well, then an IS Express is started, okay, that's good. And hopefully my browser windows will also pop up, yes. And they will execute my, my web tests, uh, hopefully successfully, yes. So they are all succeeded. And I didn't have to do anything, so I didn't have to take care of any preparation and so on. So, of course, IS Express is a little bit special for web tests, so there is also a step which is called custom, where you can pro provide a type which uh, you can implement in your, your application. It has to implement a, a basic uh, interface with two methods. So it's why if you have some special other dependency, uh, which is uh, not the IS Express, but something which is special in your project, you can also put them into the profile. So you don't have to, so profile should be a really common place to, to have everything which is needed for, for test execution. To continue with this with this scenario, I also have the typical problem if I have such a web testing uh, project that 
I like to do some click and play or run and play kind of testing on the web application. I, I probably I set up some tricky shopping cart with three different books and I, I want to do some debugging on that. Maybe this is not a good practice, but this happens. But still, I also want to run my acceptance tests. And uh, currently my problem is that the acceptance tests are using the same database as my, my application. So whenever I'm running the acceptance test, all my well-prepared well handmade data set is gone. So I have to do the, the same again and again, which is, which is very annoying me. So actually what I want to have rather is to have two databases, one which is used by the acceptance tests and the other is which is used by this click and play tests in my bookshop. For that, I have already prepared another database, which is called bookshop underscore test, as far as I remember. So the only thing that I have to do is, well, so in the acceptance test is easy. I just have to go to the config file and I have to say bookshop underscore test. However, if I run my tests with, with the web, web UI automation, then actually this will also use my, my web application as well. So if I don't want to confuse myself fully, then I should also set the same database connection string on in the web application. And now when the problem start, problems start, because then if I again want to do this click and play kind of test, I would need to write it back and forth. So this is some, sometimes happening to us. And this can be quite well fixed again with another deployment step. Actually, there, are, there is another deployment step which is called copy folder. It's very simple and it does what you expect to do. So there is a source and a target folder. And actually what I will do now, I will again copy it from my cheat sheet. I will just take the bookshop folder entire, so the entire web application, and let's copy that to a, to a folder which is called web. This is a relative pass. This, is, this means that under my bin debug in my application. And then I can, and I have to also config, uh, change uh, the IS Express. And uh, then what I, what I can do, I can change the web config uh, of the web application just for this execution. So this will not, uh, not anymore conflict with my real web application. To change the configuration, changing the configuration files again is something which is very common uh, when you want to do some test execution. So this is also something which where, where, that that uh, spec run supports out of the box. So there is another step kind which is called config file transformation, and with this config file transformation step, you can actually say that I want to co configure the web dot config uh, config config under the web folder, which I just copied uh, my, my bookshop there. And what you have inside is the standard, uh, well, standard uh, XML document transformation that you probably know from, from Visual Studio. And actually, with that, I can just simply change my connection string in the bookshop entities. And I want to change it, change the database to bookshop tests. So this will ensure that my original web config remained untouched, so I can just do some click and play tests, but still my tests, my, my ex automated acceptance tests uh, are configured to, to use this other database. So let's see whether uh, it was working. So let's rerun them once more. Actually, right now the two databases are pretty the same, so you will not see too much difference. But actually what I wanted, wanted to show you is that, that it works. And I'm right now sending the bin debug folder of the acceptance test. And what you see is that the web folder has been created while the tests are running. And whenever it's finished, it's, it's, it's deleted. So this, these deployment steps always have a teardown logic as well. So they try to clean up the mess that they, they were doing. So the copy folder is by default cleaning up the folder, uh, deleting the folder that it was uh, uh, copying to. So this is how you can do web automated tests with, with SpecRun. But actually, what I, what I, as, as I have mentioned, the, my goal was not only to show how to, how to do web UI testing, but generally how to solve complex test setups with these deployment steps. I have explicitly mentioned how this IS Express step can be used. And what I didn't show, but just mentioned that there is also a custom step. So if you have a dependency which is not covered by SpecRun, because it's custom to your project or because we are not supporting that yet, then you can uh, quickly implement it with a few lines of code for yourself and put it into the same um, profile 
to keep everything together, uh, which is necessary for, for the tests.